Hey, this is Kyle. Welcome back to part three of our video demo series with, on setting up Pure Cloud Block Store and Azure VMware Solution. Now, we've in the first two videos, we showed how to deploy AVS and CBS. And in this demo video, we're going to show you how to establish connectivity between them. To get started, we first need to gather a few key pieces of information from Azure VMware Solution. To do that, we'll click into our AVS managed object. We'll go to the connectivity tab, and then we'll go over to Express Route. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we'll launch a notepad here just to be able to record some of this information. Um, first thing we need, first piece of information that's important is our ExpressRoute URL. So ExpressRoute is deployed with a private URL that we'll have to grab. Uh, then we need to generate an authorization key for that ExpressRoute circuit. So to do so, the ExpressRoute ID is just that first URL there on the top of the screen. So I'll just go ahead and copy paste that in. And then we actually need to go in and request an authorization key from AVS itself. Okay, so we've selected the key. We just need to give it a name. And we'll go ahead and click on Create. Now this can take a minute or two to generate, so we'll go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, there's the key. We'll go ahead and copy out that key value. That's really the only two pieces of information that we require to move ahead. So what we'll do now is we'll go into our ultra virtual network gateway. We created that in a previous demo video. If you haven't seen that or haven't created this, please go back to that video and see how to create the ultra SKU virtual network gateway. Um, but now all we're doing is we're adding that connection between AVS and Cloud Block Store VNet. Um, so we'll go ahead and give it a name. Uh, in this case, the connection type will be an express route circuit. Uh, we'll go ahead and redeem authorization and we'll go ahead and paste in those two pieces of information that we grabbed from the AVS cluster. First one being our authorization key. And then the second one being the express route URL. Now, of critical importance here is to enable that fast path selection. Fast path enables virtual machine traffic to bypass this virtual network gateway and will give you optimal performance between AVS and Cloud Block Store. With that, we click OK. Uh, give it a few minutes here, and it will establish that connection between AVS and CBS. It will be in an updating status for a minute or two, and then it will switch over to succeeded when it completes. There we can see it has succeeded. The only other thing that we need to do is to go back into our Azure VMware solution instance, go back to connectivity, and then we're going to go ahead and do Azure VNet Connect as well. You can see there's our key from before. We'll go to Azure VNet Connect, and then we'll select the Azure VNet that CBS is connected to to get that all connected up as well. This can also take a few minutes to complete. And then once it does, our connectivity will have succeeded between these two items. In the next demo video, we will show you how to provision and manage data stores on Cloud Block Store and AVS. So please uh, check that out, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching, as always. Talk to you soon.